He thought his long-cherished dream of studying at one of the best universities in the world had ended in 2019 when he lost his father some months before his final exams. But fate had a different script for the life of 20-year-old Ebenezer Che. Four years later, he was won to two mil he won two million dollars worth of scholarships from six best universities in the world. He chose Harvard University after he also got admission into the Yale University, California Technology Institute and four other top universities. Eben says he is determined to revolutionize the technology space in Ghana and Africa after his studies. Mark Solagbagba has more. As at now, it's exact look. But um, as it goes into the market and you are realizing profits, you are trying to upgrade it into a boarding way. Ebenezer, che, when I met him for, uh, four years ago system, during the National Science and Math Quiz competition, um, checks, he had co founded Exiatlog, an app but, um, that helps in, in keeping and managing the, the issuance of Exiats in senior high schools. The app replaces the age-old paper-based exeats. Ebenezer had just lost his father and was also disappointed he couldn't make it into the NSMQ team of Presec Legon. Uh, it was really a shock. I felt that my dreams were crashing because the, even the, high, um, the junior high school I attended in Akuse, it's called Akuse International School, and then it's really expensive. So. He wasn't too well did that much, so uh, he was really trying his best to give me the best academic experience. So even at that point, I mean, the school fees was <laughs> even more than his salary. But he, he I mean, then so, so so we wrote our shortlisted for the first twenty, mm. and then we wrote again first thirteen, and then top. Or so, yeah. Then after that, <laughs> the final test, they, they wanted to take six students, mm. and then I ranked seventh on the test. Oh. So I was just under the line. Oh. Yeah, it really got to me. But then I, I channeled that is the appointment too. Like I was like, you know, maybe pro programming is yours. So just focus on that. When Eben lost his father, he thought his long cherished dream of studying in a top university abroad had been shattered. But an interaction with the founder of the Coden Foundation, Selom Abedu, changed his life. Eben is now in his first year at Harvard University studying computer science. My experience at Harvard University has been a very wonderful one. And the only challenge here is the academics, which is very good. But then mechanisms have been put in place to ensure that um, we excel at academics. For instance, the class sizes are very small, which ranges from about 8 to 15 students per class and with this you're able to develop an interpersonal relationship with your professor and your professor is able to know your strengths and your weaknesses and help you um, adjust to the new environment and also there's um you're very much um focused on collaboration so you realize that when you are solving your problem sets which is like homework in the Ghanaian context you get to collaborate with your friends to help you think through the process now with the new environment the only um, different thing here is the weather and food. But then, yeah, I'm trying to adjust a bit. And what I miss back home definitely is the Ghanaian food and friends and family. Ebenezer is just one out of the many young Ghanaians who have benefited from the guidance and support of Salom Promise Abedou's Cordon Foundation. The foundation is helping young Ghanaians, some of them from deprived homes, to get into the best universities in the world. Enoch, Enoch Danso. Okay, which secondary school? I went to Pope John Senior High School. I, I always knew I wanted to go abroad for my studies. I didn't get the opportunity to go to the university because of the finances and all that. So I was just home trying to find my way with the application. I didn't have any assistance, so I just Google like how to write essays, how to study for the exam. Mm -hmm. Like just Google almost every day, like 2 a.m. all the time. I was so obsessed. I found a job. I was working as um, a teacher and then um, part-time, I took Susu part-time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so during that time, I was like, if I don't do it again, I would have to teach and do Susu for the rest of my life. So I just did it. So I met Selom, the founder of Codon, 
-hmm. And then he was like, oh, that's not a problem. He will help me. He will give me the materials and everything. So he sent me the materials to, to prepare yeah. to learn for the SAT and then he also paid for the application. When the scores came out, I got the 1440 and then I did ED, mm. early decision application to Cornell University. And then God being so good, I, I got it. Yes. Selom says his foundation wants to create a new wave of young leaders who are breaking all barriers to study in the top universities in the world. I realized that there's a big gap that exists between the privileged and underprivileged when it comes to accessing higher education. In simple terms, financial constraints have prevented a lot of people to be able to go to school and achieve their dreams. As I've already mentioned, we are looking forward to supporting thousands of students from underrepresented areas and we will need more funding to be able to achieve this. Therefore, we are appealing to benevolent people and organizations to be able to achieve this dream. Since its establishment in 2021, the Corden Foundation has helped over 100 underprivileged students gain admission to various top-ranked institutions including Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Caltech, UPenn, Brown University and Cornell.